at Americans for Prosperity, we, I've had the chance to meet many of you today. We've looked at the global warming issue over the last few years, and we've been become deeply concerned about it. You know, we all want to protect the environment, but we were concerned that as while we're trying to do that, that some of the proposals coming in Washington uh, would instead harm the economy. Many of you may have heard of this cap and trade legislation. If some of you heard of that legislation, it's in Congress. They voted on it in the Senate last week. It came very close to passing. And what this cap and trade legislation would do is three things that we want to make sure that citizens across this nation know and understand. First, it would raise taxes. According to the Congressional Budget Office, which is a, a, a nonpartisan arm in Congress that studies legislation, this legislation you know, that's supposed to be fighting global warming would increase taxes by $1.2 trillion. That's not billion, it's trillion, $1.2 trillion. Those aren't my numbers, by the way, it's the Congressional Budget Office. The bulk of those tax increases would go on energy. Now think about where gasoline prices are today. Imagine gasoline if it hits $5 or $5.50 or $6. That's what tax increases control, contained in this cap and trade legislation could do. And so that's why at Americans for Prosperity, we're strongly opposing this cap and trade legislation. The second thing it'll do is it'll cost jobs. According to the American Capital Foundation, the cap and trade legislation could cost between 1.2 and 1.5 million jobs nationwide. In Georgia, that would translate to just over 60,000 jobs lost. So it's higher taxes, especially on gasoline and home energy. It's lost jobs. And then the last part is it's less freedom. You know, when you take away a family's disposable income, when they're paying higher gasoline prices, when they're paying higher home energy prices, when their business isn't doing as well, their freedom pulls back because they simply can't afford to do the things they want to do. In this battle, it's, it's about higher taxes, especially on gasoline and home energy. It's about lost jobs, and it's about your personal freedoms. And so that's why at Americans for Prosperity, we decided to, to hop on a balloon and do, a, do an excellent adventure across the country. And the message is very simple. Just say no to cap and trade legislation. And that's what the, that's the legislation being pushed at the federal level and even in a lot of states. And that's what will bring the higher gasoline prices, the higher food prices, the higher home energy prices, and the lost jobs and the less freedom. It's cap and trade legislation. And in a nutshell, what that legislation does is this. It'll have the government begin regulating all CO2 emissions. Your CO2 emissions are, are what heats or cools your home. Those are the kind of emissions we're talking about. And what the government, or at least what our opponents want to do with this cap and trade legislation, is they want to regulate for the first time through the government your emissions. And really it's rationing. And so that's what's at stake. We hope you'll get involved. Thank you all very much for coming.